Hello, library friends. This is Miss Steph, and it is Summer Reading 2021. And I hope you signed up. If you haven't already signed up, you can come to the library or you can do it online. And I'll put the uh, website right here. You can see it here. And this is my first installment of Draw with Steph for my summer reading program. I really hope you enjoyed the last video tutorial I made and that was the kitty. This month I'm going to be doing this sloth and isn't it really adorable and special for summer reading this year. I would like you to come and sign up for one of these watercolor palettes I got for my participants. So if you want to come into the library at Mom Mel, you can sign and get the watercolor template that I made and the watercolor palette while supplies last. And this is specifically for um, my teen kids at the library and we can go ahead and do it from 10 to 16. So. I hope you enjoy this tutorial video. Um, be sure to come to the library, ask us about summer reading. We have the teen book reviews. Every book, DVD, comic book, graphic novel that you read, you can fill out one of our review slips like we did last year and be entered to win a Walmart gift card every single week. Enjoy. So for this video, I will be using the watercolor palette that I'm going to provide you so you can actually see it in person and see what it looks like. I have never used this one before, so it'll be fun just to kind of see how it works out, if it's any good or not, and I bet you it's pretty good. So I have my own brushes here. Use whatever brushes, these are my favorite. The palette comes with a little detail brush, but I suggest you are gonna need a bigger brush. I like these. And then I have my containers of water. I have a clean water for mixing colors, and then I have the other container of water for cleaning my brushes. Okay, so let's see what these colors look like on the paper and how well we like them. First, I'm going to probably do the background. I always like to start with the background first. So I'm gonna get my green and then we're going to just mix it. I like mixing it on the white. If you have any white tray, I really highly suggest you use a white container plate. Actually, a styrofoam plate works really well. So it's easier to see the colors. And I'm gonna give you a tip here if you want to you can hold the palette in your off hand and then use your dominant hand and get the colors. Now actually, this watercolor palette might be pretty awesome. Oh yeah. Oh, awesome. I think, I think y'all are really gonna like this. And that way you can have your own palette for all the future art videos I do. I tend to really like watercolor, so here we go. Oh boy, I do like that. That's a nice brown. Okay. Well, let's put some water on the paper. Don't forget your paper towels or your rag. I'm just wetting it. When you wet the paper, you can just put the color on the paper and then see what happens with the color when it runs. It's, that's the funnest part for me. 
because it kind of does abstract patterns and I just love seeing what the watercolor kind of does on its own. So right here on this sloth, I'm actually just going to stop on this top here, I think. Uh, let's see. And I'm trying not to be a perfectionist. That is my struggle. Still wetting the paper. You can see the shine. That means you can still put color on it. See? That's a good amount of shine. My brushes just fell. Whoops. So I think we're going to have him in some trees. Or is it a her? You choose. Oh, that's pretty. Okay. You see how I'm just blotting? I'm just blotting it lightly on the wet paper and it makes a really cool design, see? Isn't that pretty? Gorgeous. See how easy that is? And see, look, I'm making leaves. See? Just with my brush. So I'm just boop. See? Not hard at all. Now I'm going to make a whole bunch of leaves everywhere. See? We can also mix a little bit of this brown and the green to make a darker green. So this brown right here and then the green, you can make a darker green. See? See how I add the dark? I just love that. So we're just going to keep going here. Do whatever you want. But that's a, a nice kind of forest shape there and leaves and trees and stuff. I like it. And once you get to a, a point like this, 
just let it dry. Don't do any more to it because if you keep working on it when it's wet, it's not going to look right. It's going to either look muddy or it's going to mess up your nice edges that you have here. So right now, I am actually going to take a minute break and we're going to let this all dry and then we're going to come back and add some more to it. 15 minutes later. Okay, so I've let it dry. Here's a close up. You can see how the watercolor looks a bit different when it's dry, but I really like the effect. So we're gonna keep going now and finish this up. So let's go ahead and paint the body. It looks like I have a black here. So I think I'm gonna mix black and blue and see what I get, okay? Let's see what happens here. So let's go ahead and wet the paper. Go ahead and just wet the whole body. Okay, let's do a little bit more detail now. I'm going to paint in the branch and a little bit more leaves and we can finish off the shadows. And here we go. So here's my brown. here and brown for your shadow. It's okay if it bleeds a little bit. It's going to happen. See if we have a problem where it bleeds, I'll show you here. You can see how this is bleeding in here. I'm just going to get some water, we're just going to erase it almost like this. See we're just going to fade it in like so, look see all fixed. I'm going to add some more. 
I think I like this blue sloth. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna keep doing some shadows here. Looking good. Now a little bit more green. Nice bright. Just adding green here, just wherever. There's the general shape of leaves and trees. Just use your imagination. Just the final touches give him some eyeballs <laughs> and then we'll be done I'm gonna get my smallest smallest brush that I have here I'm gonna paint in the eyes black
Well, there is our slaw. I hope you enjoyed this painting tutorial and now you can see really how simple it is to do leaves, branches, and this watercolor palette that I have. Um, come pick one up. It's really awesome. I really love it. See y'all next time.